Good morning, y'all. So I wanted to come on here and talk to you about something that I'm currently learning, which is the authority that I have as a believer in Jesus. Like, as a believer, we have so much authority that we don't even use. And what I'm about to tell y'all, it might either confirm something for you or it might even shock you. But I believe that um, as I learn, it's very important for me to share because we don't know when Jesus is coming back. We don't know when our final day will be. And I want you to tap into your authority as a believer in Christ. We be playing like we serve a, a small, we serve a big God. Like we don't be using our authority to its fullest potential. And I want to share with you some scriptures that I read about the authority that we have in Christ. Um, and good morning, everybody. This will be a replay, so you'll be able to go back and rewatch it. But y'all, so the first thing is Jesus has gave his children. A th yes, we said the biggest guy. Jesus has gave his children authority over so much. And the first scripture that I want to talk to you guys about is um, Matthew chapter 17. So in Matthew chapter 17, um, and actually, hold on, let me go to it real quick. So in Matthew chapter 17, um, there basically was a man um, who knelt before Jesus and he was like, Lord, have mercy on my son. He has seizures and suffered suffers terribly he often falls into the fire or into the water so i brought him to your disciples but they couldn't heal him and jesus was saying you faithless and corrupt people how long must i be with you how long must i put up with you bring the boy up to me then jesus rebuked the demon in the boy and it left him from that moment the boy was well afterwards the disciples asked jesus privately why couldn't we cast out the demon? And Jesus told them, told the disciples, like, here, the reason why you couldn't cast out the demon out of the boy is because you don't have enough faith. He said, I tell you the truth. If you have faith, even the size of, even as small as a mustard seed, you could say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible. So what that showed me, and that just say, like, God gave us the authority to cast out demons, to heal the sick. I'm I'm about to read it to y'all. Let's go, let's go read it from the Bible. <laughs> In Matthew chapter 10, um, we have the authority to heal the sick, raise the dead, cure those with leprosy basically care people from sicknesses and disease and to cast out demons we have that authority as believers in christ jesus has gave us that authority but we don't even use our authority so what we do is we be like hey god i'm dealing with this sickness um, can you take it away? Which is nothing wrong with praying to God about it. But if God already gave you the authority to command it to go, why why not use your authority? And so what I've been doing lately is I've been practicing my authority. Um, this morning, I woke up with the, um, like a bump underneath my tongue. It was very uncomfortable. I said, I command this bump to go in the name of Jesus. I declare healing over my tongue. I, de I demand my tongue to go back to its original form. Just like that, the bump went away. Just like that. And that just showed me, like, I, you got to use your authority as a believer. Like, stop playing small. Like, God, literally, Matthew chapter 17, verse 20. Nothing is impossible for me with faith the size of a mustard seed all i need is faith the size of a mustard seed and nothing is impossible for me so when as you're going throughout life and let's say you wake up with a sickness or or you know you you um you looking for a job you better command you better demand a job to show up in the name of jesus and i know if you if you dealing with um sexual dreams like um 
people having sex between your dreams and stuff like that, you better command and demand the demonic incubus and succubus, demonic spirit to die in the name of Jesus. You better declare it to leave your dreams, leave your body because we have that authority as believers. And for so many years, I've been just praying and praying, God, remove this, God, do this. God, like, girl, I gave you the authority to do that already. Since you are a believer in me, I've equipped you and gave you authority to cast stuff out in my name. But we don't even use it. And we don't use it because we don't know that we have the authority. Or we don't use it because we're like, oh, I can just go to God for it. Which I'm not saying don't go to God for it, but why not practice your authority? She said, I'm about to cry, girl. Let me tell you. And it's something, y'all, I'm telling you, this is something I'm, I'm newly learning. Like... I'm learning the authority as a believer. And that's why it's so important y'all read y'all Bible. The Bible tell us so much about the authority that we have. Okay, you lacking in your finances. Girl, you better demand and command finances and, and resources and a job to show up in the name of Jesus. You better speak with authority and have faith that it is so. And it will come to pass. Because God said, all you need is, a, is faith the size of a mustard seed and nothing will be impossible for you so we got to stop walking around in fear and in worries that stuff literally dominate the mind of unbelievers you're not an unbeliever you believe in jesus christ you believe that he died on the cross for us and has sent his holy spirit to live within us we have a different type of authority so i want to encourage you to active to use the authority that God has given you it say if you speak to that mountain and tell that mountain to move it will be moved if you have the faith the size of a mustard seed nothing will be impossible for you y'all go read your bible Matthew uh, chapter 17 verse 20 yep Matthew chapter 17 verse 20 I said that's all I need to know all I got to do is, all I got to do is speak to stuff. And it happens because of my faith. And because God literally said it in his word. I'm giving you the authority to heal sickness, to cast out demons. I tell the demon to go, it got to go in the name of Jesus. <laughs> um... She said, yes, I just read this yesterday, man. And, and also, if y'all want to learn more about the authority that you have as a believer in Christ, for one, ask God for spiritual wisdom. Don't put me on no pedestal. Don't put no preacher, no pastor, no nothing on no pedestal. Y'all better go to God y'all self and say, God, hey, help me with my spiritual wisdom. And here's another thing that we be doing that we don't have to do. We be saying, hey, God, be with me. God is like, didn't I tell you in my word that I, I am with you every single day? I will never leave you nor forsake you. Didn't I tell you in my word that the Holy Spirit is inside of you? If you accept me as Jesus, like if you accept me, like dude, if you believe in me, like don't, don't you know that I will never leave you? So you don't have to keep praying, Lord, be with me. Be with, He's with you. <laughs> He's with you. We have to know like. Man, it's a lot of stuff that at least me, I had to unlearn and relearn. Like, man, she said, Mark and Matthew. Oh, um, I was talking about Matthew chapter 17, verse 20. I really, really encourage y'all to read the whole book of Matthew. Read, y'all, oh my. Because y'all know Matthew is what starts the um, New Testament, which is when Jesus, um, which is when like Jesus came and a lot of stuff changed. We're not subject to the law. We, um, it's like, it's, it's so much, but it's so good, y'all. Y'all, I highly encourage y'all to ask God for spiritual wisdom. And ask God to help you learn who he is and learn your authority in him. A lot of stuff you walking around with, you don't got to be walking around with. If you walk around in fear, you better demand and command the fear to go in the name of Jesus. Because... You got the authority to do so. Period. I'm calling stuff as though it were because I have the authority in Jesus Christ to do so. 
And in Jesus' name, it is so. Just like I told y'all this morning, woke up with a bump underneath my tongue that was hurting. God commanded that thing to go in the name of Jesus. And guess what? Just like that, it left. I can't make it up. But that's just um, like practicing my authority. Every believer have it, not just me. <laughs> it's in the Bible. Matthew chapter 17, verse 20. Literally, I can tell a mountain to move and it will move because I have faith the size of a mustard seed. As small as y'all know how small a mustard seed is, it's like really small. Thank you for the badge. Yes, Matthew 17, 20. I needed this message, LaDun. God bless you for moving when the Spirit told you to move. You're welcome. We're demanding and commanding in Jesus' name. Yes. Yes. Y'all go and even go and read um Matthew chapter 10, Matthew chapter 17. All these, man. And even just ask God, hey, God, I, I, I want to know my authority. I can speak to things and they move. I can speak to sickness and pain and it dry up. I can speak to depression and joy will come. I can speak to division and unity will come. Y'all do not know how many times I was in my prayer closet demanding stuff to happen and it happened. I'm telling y'all, when you have faith the size of must see, nothing is impossible for you. That's in the Bible. Matthew 17 verse 20. I can speak to lack. And abundance will show up. I can speak to a lack of finances and demand finances to show up. And guess what? In due time, it'll come. It will be. Um, I can speak to confusion and clarity happens. I can speak to irritation and joy happens. Like, y'all got to know, like, I can speak to stuff and it move. I don't got to be, oh, on my down bad, on my, on my knee. It's just doing the most. God, like, girl, if you don't get up and use your authority, do you not know who I am? I'm a big God. Like, you my child, don't you think? Like, I've equipped you with these things. And if you read the word of God, if you read your Bible, you will know the authority you have. And if you ask him, he'll reveal it to you. He'll send videos to show you, um, like, uh, sermons or something. He'll highlight some in the Bible. But that's why it's so important to be in your word, be in prayer. Stay connected to God because the devil, he don't want you to know your authority. <laughs> For so many years, I didn't know my authority. I didn't know my authority. But now I know nothing is impossible for me. I can heal sickness. I can heal sickness. I can heal disease. I can speak to stuff in my body and they move. I can speak to division in my family and unity happens. I can speak to my finances and, and provision come. I can speak to something that I, girl, I was putting on a bracelet the other day. I was like, I command this bracelet to, this bracelet to, to get put on with ease because it was giving me a hard time. Just like that, the bracelet <laughs> came on. Like, I want y'all to practice your authority. If your car not starting up, girl, you better command that car to start up in the name of Jesus. You, I'm the man, I'm trying to tell you. We serve God, okay? Do y'all know, know God, heaven is his throne. The earth is his footstool. I read that in the Bible yesterday. Earth is God's footstool. If it's his footstool, don't you know that every thing on this earth like he got control over <laughs> the earth is his footstool ain't nothing too big for god ain't nothing too far off for god girl i'm speaking the stuff as though it was girl i'm using my authority in christ let me read your comments um she said practice authority yes amen god knows i needed this reminder as to who i am in him thank you and god bless you're welcome you're speaking to me. You're welcome. Yes. Oh, my God. How did you know my car wasn't starting? Oh, my God. I'm literally in this situation right now. Let me tell y'all. Speak to it. Speak to that car. I, I command you to start up in the name of Jesus. And have faith and expectancy that it will come. And the thing, too, because the devil, he... It, when you speak to something and if it don't happen right away, he want to convince you that, oh, God, God, that don't work. That don't. Let me tell y'all something. And it's even in the Bible. One thing about it, 
God's word is not void. And just because it don't happen in that second, don't you know his word will come to pass? Don't you know that his timing is way better than my timing? So even if I speak to something in this second, it can come to pass a year later. It can come to pass three months later, two months later. Just know the word of God does not return void, meaning it'll always come to pass. And that's all I need to know. I'm going to stand on my faith. Yep, being in the word. Being in the word and, and knowing what God say about his children. And I'm taking hold of everything God has for me. But yes, y'all, I just wanted to come on here and tell y'all that. Because, oh, y'all, <clears throat> y'all, it's a real thing. And I'm learning. I'm literally, he's not a man that, okay, come on now. He's not a man that he should lie. He not like us. <laughs> he not us. He not a man that he should lie. So... Yes, y'all. If you just coming in, we was talking about using the authority that you have as a believer in Christ. Like, in the Bible, God tell us so much stuff that we have authority over. Like, he literally, <laughs> y'all, I'd be like, man. So, God literally delivered us from the power of darkness. And we still think that we have to be in bondage to the power of darkness. Girl, you better speak to the power of darkness and tell it to go. All these demonic spirits, hindering spirits, procrastination, laziness, all this other stuff that's not of God. You better speak to it and command it that it need to go it go in the name of Jesus. Literally. You gotta you better speak to stuff. Like that's not my portion. You better get behind me. <laughs> in Jesus' name. But um yes, y'all. I'm about to say this live to my page. For anybody who um, missed the beginning of it. But y'all, like I said, as I learn, I'm going to share. Because I don't know when my last day is. You don't know when your last day is. So, I want everybody to get it. ASAP. Like. But yeah, y'all. I love y'all. God love y'all. And if you don't take nothing from this, for one, ask God for spiritual wisdom. And two, be in the word of God. Read your Bible. Read, whoo, read your Bible and ask him for understanding of what you read. So you won't be going throughout this life as a believer and not even using your authority. Come on, man. But yes, thank you, girl. God bless you. Y'all are welcome. Y'all have a great day. Bye, y'all. <laughs>